Hello, my name's Damien Barber from England in the UK. And the type of music I play is mainly accompanying songs, uh, but a few Irish tunes as well now and then. Uh, the concertina I've got is a national idiophone uh, extended treble, tenor treble. Um, and the name of the song that I'm going to sing is Let the Wind Blow High or Low from the singing of Walter Pardon from Napton in Norfolk. One night as I was walking down by a riverside Gazing all around me when an Irish girl I spied Red and rosy were her cheeks, lovely coal black was her hair Costly were those lovely robes this Irish girl did wear Her shoes were black, her stockings white, all sprinkled with dew. She wrung her hands and tore her hair, crying, alas, what shall I do? I'm going home, I'm going home, I'm going home, says she. Oh, would you go a-roving? The slighter on me. The very last time I saw my love, he seemed to be in pain. With heartfelt grief and chilling woe, his heart had seemed it broke in twain. There's many a man more true than he, so why should I e'er complain? Oh, love, it is a killing thing, did you ever feel the pain? I wish I were a butterfly, I'd fly to my true love's breast. I wish I were a linnet, I would sing my love to rest. I wish I were a nightingale, I would sing till the morning clear. I'd sit and sing for you, Polly. The girl I loved so dear I wish my love was a red rose bud Who in the garden grew And I to be the gardener to her I ever would prove true There's not a month in all the years my love I would renew The lilies I would garnish Sweet William at time and room I wish I were in Manchester a sitting on the grass with a bottle of whiskey in my hand and on my knee and mass. I call for liquor merrily, I pay before I go. I draw my lass all on the grass, let the wind blow high or low. Yes, I call for liquor merrily. I pay before I go. I grow my last soul on the grass. Let the wind blow high or low.
Hi, my name is Thomas Restoin. I live in Auvergne in the center of France. I play traditional music from different countries and I also sometimes compose my own tunes. I play a custom duet concertina made by Rosalie Collin and John Dipper. Thanks to them and thanks to the ICA to invite me to play for the World Concertina Day. I start with a tune by Guido Picard, a friend of mine who lives in Auvergne too. So I continue with a tune of mine composed for the baritone duet Western House.
Goodbye. Have a nice work concertina day. Thanks to all. My name is Miyuki Miura. I'm playing English concertina in Japan. Happy celebration World Concertina Day. Today, I will play Oblivion by Piazzolla. Enjoy. My name is David Barnard and I live in Albany, New York, USA. 
I'm the musician of our local band of Morris dancers, and I play for contra dances and English country dances. I play classical music and traditional music from various European and North American cultures. I'm playing a Wheatstone in, uh, 46 key Hayden duet concertina. This is a tune that I've known for some 40 years, although I've heard many names for it. I first learned it as the Siege of Ennis, although more frequently I now I hear it as the uh, Banks of Inverness, and others have called it Salmon Tales Across the Water, Croppy's March, Andy Irvine's Polka, and Shane's Favorite. Here goes. <laughs> Hello, I'm Harry Scurfield. I've been playing the Anglo Constantina for 48 years about. This is my um, baritone CG 40 key dipper, which is uh, was made for me by Colleen and Rosalie Dipper and is wonderful and unique. And I thank them every time I play it. Um, about 40 years ago, so um, after I started playing Constantina, I started making sourdough bread. And this is my song about that. If you ever want to contact me about bread or the concertina, harryscurfield at gmail.com should find me. Here we go. <laughs> It takes a little bit of sourdough to leaven up the best dry bread. So don't go buying yeast, start a sour starter instead. Strong white flour microorganisms are rife. The starter starts to work and it will bubble with new life. It takes a little bit of sourdough to leaven up the best dry bread. Takes a little bit of sourdough to leaven up the best dry bread. A little bit of white flour keeps your sourdough well fed. Then get your darker rye flour, sprinkle on the salt. A little bit of sour is a pleasure, not a fault. It takes a little bit of sourdough to leaven up the best dry bread. have lost their flavor every now and then there's nothing left to savor 
Life tastes hollow like a row of empty cans Get your little bit of sour grab and knead it with both hands It'll rise, it'll bubble, be ready when you leave your bed Put it in the oven and you're baking up the best rye bread If you tap it on the bottom and it's hollow like a bell Cut it, but the bread and cheese, it's gonna taste well. It takes a little bit of sourdough to leaven up the best rye bread. Hello everyone. I'm going to play today the Paganini Variations Caprice 24, um, originally written for the violin in, or published in 808. Uh, I've done this arrangement for Constantino. Uh, there is a theme, 11 variations, and a finale. Um, and I thought it might be quite amusing to play the various parts on different instruments. So I brought along six of my concertinos. Um, so some of them are playing twice or three times, whatever it might be. And the instruments are two wheat stones from 1909, 912, two wheat stones from 1850, uh, 1860 and 1858, and two more wheat stones, one a riveted reed, extended compass, rosewood, 1882, and a pinhole, 1895, thereabouts. The, the records are lost for that particular period. That's also extended compass. So let's see how it goes. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Tristan White. And I'm Millicent White, his darling sister. And today we're going to be performing for World Concertina Day. The song we're going to be playing was written by a man who's very special to us, Steve Wilson, and he gave us the opportunity to learn this instrument. And we love it. Oh, here he is now. Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. And you know, you're very special to me too because you're such enthusiastic students. So you wrote the song as a tribute to the role concertinas played in the circus. That's right. And you know, concertinas have mostly been used by clowns in the circus, but very occasionally they were used by acrobats. And perhaps with the magic of the circus, a concertina could possibly take on a life of its own. And it's called the Flying Concertina. Of course, is the girl upon trapeze. But when she 
Hello and happy World Concertina Day. I'm Luke Hillman and I'm speaking to you today from Berkeley, California in the United States. Many thanks to the ICA and especially Daniel Hirsch for inviting me to play for you today. I started playing concertina in 2016 and was immediately drafted into my local Morris team, which we apparently have here in Berkeley. So my repertoire is mainly things I play for Morris dances. The instrument that I'm playing today is a Concertina Connection Clover, a 30-button Anglo hybrid with accordion reeds. Uh, I'm going to play one of our more unusual Morris tunes, which we actually borrowed from the klezmer tradition. Hopefully I managed to do it justice. This is Rebdovidl's Nagoon.
So, happy birthday, Sir Charles, uh, and greetings from the east of the Netherlands. This is Dapper's Delight. I'm playing a baritone uh, Anglo Constina made by Colin Rosalie Dipper, and Susanna's playing a recorder uh, which was made uh, by me in my day job. And uh, we're going to play a 16th century dance, Pavana el Bison, the bison. And uh, I will play the, the dance once through by myself and Susanna will join me in the second time through with some diminutions that she wrote. Hello, my name is Holger. I uh, live in Denmark and uh, I uh, play the Do It Concertina. I started, I 
for many years I played uh, the English concertina, but then two years ago I bought this concertina, uh, this dual concertina, uh, McCann system, from my favorite concertina dealer, Chris Algar, um, in Balkon concertinas, and I I really enjoyed playing it, playing it. Uh, but uh, I felt that something needed. I needed more notes, so so uh, I went I went to visit Chris again, and then I bought this terrific, terrific concertina with a lot more notes on it. It's bigger to play. It's it's more difficult to play, but it's it's uh, it has really a fantastic. A fantastic sound um, and 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 also more lower notes and the funny thing is that it is uh, customized so when you go down on the left side from the from the C you go down to an F and then there's one more note that is the low C already that's something um, Yes, I am so much in love with this instrument, uh, but what do you do when you are in love with an, an English instrument and in the same time you are a Francophile, as I am? Well, you play French music on your English instrument, and uh, so I'll play a valse musette by the big, by the great... Um, French uh, accordion player Jou Priva, and it's called La Mangarde. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Steve Turner. I play an ex Doncaster Salvation Army Band 64 key baritone tenor treble English Aeola and uh, it's tuned to A452. And I'm going to play, I'm going to sing Charles Dibden's most famous song from the late 18th century called Tom Bowling. And Tom Bowling was apparently a real person, he came from Yorkshire. And this song's going to be on my new forthcoming uh, ninth album, which will be out in early 2023. <laughs> In a sheer hulk lies poor Tom Bowling, the darling of our crew. No more he'll hear the tempers howling, for death has broached him through. His form was of a manliest beauty, his heart was kind and soft. Faithful below, Tom did his duty, but now he's gone along. But now he's gone along. His word departed, his virtues were so rare. His friends were many and true-hearted, his power was kind and fair. Oh, then he'd sing so blithe and merry, many the time and all, but mirth has turned to melancholy, for time has gone along, for time has gone along. Yet shall poor Tom find pleasant weather when he whom all commands shall give to poor life's crew together the word to pipe or hands. Thus death good things and towers dispatches in vain Tom's life has done for though his body is under hatches his soul is gone aloft his soul is gone aloft Hi, thank you for tuning in to this online concert. We hope you've enjoyed it. It's been organised by the ICA, the International Concertina Association, which exists to promote the playing, music and history of the concertina. And if you join and become a member, you get access to the online archives and music library, and you get a magazine four times a year. So if you fancy joining, uh, do check out the website, which is www.concertina.org. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks to everybody who's made it possible, all the performers, all the people who organised it here. So thank you very much, and keep on squeezing! <laughs>